Hello everybody! It's Anna Greta here. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope you take care of yourself, loving yourself and uh, yeah, just hoping that everything is just perfect for you. I am just feeling good and uh, wow! You should you should uh, be looking outside my window right now because it's pouring down with um, rain. Uh, yesterday it was actually like twenty degrees and sunshine, and today it's um, pouring outside. Yeah. All right. So today I want to talk more about being with yourself. Be more with yourself. Right. And um, let's see here. Yeah. You know, you do not need anyone to tell you what you want to do. You know what you want, right? We all know what we want. Um, it isn't uh, hard uh, to know. And uh, if you listen to yourself, go inside you know inside of yourself and you know listen to your intuition listen to your soul all right and uh, you do not need to listen to um, meditation from other others to meditate you know you don't need in fact you don't need anyone to meditate at all just sit with yourself and listen to your own body because this is to be mindful and it's a, like a mindful meditation, right? Because your body will tell you, your intuition, your soul will tell you what you need to know. Listen to the you that's inside of you. Your soul, you know? Your, yeah, inside. And uh, here is actually, let me see if I can just get it up. Here is actually some uh, affirmations that could be used. For example, I am beautiful both inside and out. And um, I'm wondering if I should turn this off because it's got so much reflection on my eyes here. Anyway, um, I'm beautiful on the inside out. I am enough, I am strong, I can do this. I just want to share something because, okay, this is in Norwegian, so for those of you who are English will not understand this. But it says, this is for today, it's not necessary to be perfect. It's enough to just, it's, it's enough to be just good enough, okay? And, yeah, you know, we are all good enough, aren't we? So, um, you are your own best friend. You are the one that knows yourself best. You are the one who lives with yourself, right? So, you're the one that knows what's best for you, not everybody else. Um, I mean, if you, com if you are comfortable in your own company... You will never be alone either, right? So, take yourself on a journey. And that can be out in the forest, in a park, in the city, uh, on the mountains. Uh, you can just... Yeah. So, I will take you through eight ways to learn how to be yourself and live more happily. So... Okay, number one. Don't aim to please others you need to please yourself right there's a problem if you are never doing what you want to do yet always doing what everyone else wants to do this is why you shouldn't please others but yourself it's it's important that you are with yourself pleasing others can be a nice thing to do sure Absolutely, it can actually be a beautiful thing, but know where your boundaries are. 
all right no instead of always aiming sorry aiming to 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 please others you should do things for yourself as well every now and then uh, it is actually important to take the time and do do what you like do what's best for you your soul your body your mind okay and do not worry about how other people view you or what they think about you occasionally thinking about how others view you may may make you change for the good but you should not be constantly wondering about what others are thinking you should change if you want to and change into what or who you want to change into and not of course what others want because this is the thing isn't it because we tend to when people say something to us we tend to take it very seriously sometimes i know i have i know i have and i was bullied a lot growing up i had a tough growing up in the school years and um, was bullying so much that I didn't even believe in myself I didn't even think that I was any beautiful I thought I was ugly and not good for anything and fat and not beautiful at all in fact I am and I'm worthy and I'm beautiful and I'm worth something so yeah and number three is learn more about yourself do you know who you really are? Um, let's just see if this is better for us. It's dark, but uh, ever since you were young, you have been conditioned to be one way or the other, right? Because we get shaped, so to speak, when we were very young. Before we're 10, uh, or even before that, we get shaped by what people think and do around us, actually, more than we actually um, think we do. And honestly, it may be weird just to spend a day being your spontaneous self, but sometimes it, it is the only way that you can learn how to be yourself. And we shouldn't be so afraid of that, really okay appreciate who you are no matter how weird you are appreciate yourself like i didn't do that because i was bullied so much that i didn't even know who i was you know so this loving myself journey has helped me tremendously so each person is unique each person has something unique to offer remember that and everyone has at least a little weirdness in themselves. We all do. We all do some crazy things, don't we? Appreciate your weirdness and let it out. Okay? Be confident with who you are. Hmm? Do you ever doubt yourself? <laughs> I know I have. And um, hmm. Doubting yourself can be very easy if you are constantly comparing yourself to others and wondering what if instead of doubting yourself all the time you should be confident with yourself and who you are so what other people think let them think that let them just think what they want to think and you do your thing anyway right you have to be you who else are you going to be right Showing, your, showing confidence in yourself and your decisions will always show to others that you know what you're doing. Mm. Set the boundaries, with other words. I mean, set the boundaries. Yeah. And again, we come back to this forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for thinking negatively because we all do, don't we? Hmm? We do that. We do think negatively. It's easy. Sometimes it's even easier to think negative, neg negative things than to think positive things. And mm, Forgive yourself for talking without thinking twice. 
forgive yourself for being rude to your superiors, your friends, your parents, or your siblings. Mm. Don't think negative thoughts about yourself for taking wrong steps or making wrong decisions. Well, learn from the mistakes you made and move on, right? The kind of thinking puts your focus on the problem and not the solution. Mm -hmm. It's better to say good things about yourself than to say negative things. It, yes, of course, your body is listening to you, your soul is listening to you. Always saying positive things about yourself is a sign that you have forgiven yourself. Stop being negative about yourself for number seven here. And do you look at everything <clears throat> as a glass half full or a glass half empty? It can be easy to be negative about yourself when it comes to, to being happy. It is vital that you learn how to be yourself and to be more positive, you know? Mm. Find a hobby that you like, okay? Because everyone has something that they live for or that they, or that they love to do, right? Figure out what you love to do and make a hobby out of it. Doing what you love can make you much happier. Hmm. And here it comes, learn from your mistakes. Hmm? You can really learn more about yourself when you make a mistake. Here is why you should be proud of making a mistake. And I haven't, yeah. But anyway, see the, the thing is, when you make a mistake, look at what you've done. Look at the, the mistake that you did and see why that, that was wrong and then learn from it, okay? Because, yeah, there is lessons to be learned. A whole life is full of lessons. Number 10, strive for what you want to accomplish. Being yourself does not have to mean that you have to be stuck in status quo. Aim for what you want to achieve and strive for that accomplishment. Hmm? You can improve yourself while still remaining true to yourself. All right. Okay. What does it what does being yourself mean? Okay? Being yourself means you like who you are. Being yourself means living life how you want to live it, regardless of other people's opinion. Mm -hmm. And it means you respect yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. You can't control them or their thoughts. So let them think what they want to think, okay? Steps to discover your true self. Okay. Be quiet. You cannot and will not be able to know yourself and take, and until you take the time to be still. And to be still meaning that you can be sitting in this meditation. Just to sit down and, and breathe and close your eyes and just be still. Just listen. Realizing who you truly are not who you want to be find what you are good at and of course what you're not so good at find what you, you want, find out what you are passionate about this is steps to discover your true self ask for feedback but then again should we worry about what other people think hmm. Assess your relationships. <clears throat> okay, so why? Why do I struggle to be myself? If you are struggling, it is because you are trying to be something other than yourself. Generally, that means you are attempting to be what is expected of you, 
not what you actually are. And if that expectation is from someone else, you have to ask why they are expecting it of you and why, and why you are going along with it. Because if people say that you need to be this and this way and you go along with it, then ask yourself, why are you actually doing this? Is it to please other people? Because you're not pleasing yourself. But is it important to be yourself? Mm. Don't allow other, others to change who you are. Okay? You are being judged regardless of what you do. So being yourself makes happiness easier to obtain. L live life on your terms not somebody else's being yourself is important because you will not be happy otherwise and here is a quote from a man called alan watts waking up to who you are requires letting go of who you imagine yourself to be okay Show your vulnerability, okay? Another, another important step uh, to being ourselves is showing our vulnerability. Most of us, myself included, don't really want to show the parts of us that we don't like. The parts that scare us or make us make us feel ashamed, embarrassed, or weak. It's not so easy to share these parts of yourself. We worry, okay? What if, other, what if others change their opinion of us, reject us, or abandon us? Hmm. It is scary to be so openly vulnerable it is like opening up an old wound and telling others right where to poke you. But to fully be ourself, we have to be our full selves. We can't just pick and choose the parts that we like. We, just, we can't just show the manicured, photoshopped version of ourselves. So we have to be vulnerable from time to time. Mm. Whether we share our personal stories with everyone or just a few people we feel close to, it's up to us, okay? The goal is to be able to be all of yourself at least some of the time, okay? So it's not easy always to share personal things. And to be vulnerable and to show that, you know, I'm not all that strong or I have my weaknesses or I have this fear. But this is a part of you. And if you don't show that part, um, how can people, sorry me, how can people get to know you, right? And here is something else. Get in touch with your inner child. All right. And here's why. If you ever, if you ever watched small children, I think we all have, you will notice just how free they are and how little they care about what other people think about them. They are happy and in the moment. So this is why we should learn from them. Because children, they are just out there and playing around and are happy and screaming and jumping around and yeah. They are their true natures, okay? They have not yet been socialized to fit in to a society that squashes that, okay? They don't care if people think they are silly while they are dancing in the front yard for all the neighbors to see. But if we did the same thing, we probably would be very embarrassed and, well, we wouldn't even do it, I think. All right. 
children, you see, are just pure light and love. If you really want to get in touch, touch with your inner child, become freer, play, have fun, enjoy the moment, do cartwheels in, in the front yards, because we play roles to fit into society, right? And we suppress our true nature out of fear of what other people think. Hmm. If you find yourself worrying about being judged, remember this is merely just the socialized you, not the real you. All right? We shouldn't be we we shouldn't be scared of this. All right? We we should just here I am. Take me because or take me as I am because here I am and if you don't like it then okay okay so become more aware of your thoughts you may be shocked by the number of negative thoughts that run through your mind on any given day after so long our reality begins to take shape based on all of these conditions thinking patterns be more aware of the quality of your thinking. Allow yourself to sit quietly every morning before starting your day for just 5 to 10 minutes. And set an intention for your day at the same time, right? Yes, thoughts will come and go. But just allow them to do that without getting attached to them. Just observe them. When you're finished, continue observing the mind throughout your day. We have so many unconsequences, beliefs that we have taken on over the years that we probably, that we were probably handed down to us from somebody else and that we believe to be who we are. Becoming more aware of the quality of your thoughts, letting go of all beliefs and becoming more present can help in revealing your true nature and listen all we have is right here and now anyway all right follow your intuition this is probably one of the most important factors in being yourself when you let go of the old ways of thinking following your bliss and do what you love you become you begin to align with happiness and peace these are all indicators that you are connected with your true nature you are then following your real self to shine forth in all its glory hmm. and here comes another little quote be more you give yourself all the space, time, and love you need to remember who you are. Trust yourself, you have survived a lot. And you will survive whatever is coming. Because remember, tough times doesn't last. And you've been through a lot before, haven't you? So, you're still here. Learning. So, um... Mm. Everything changes when you begin to love yourself. You no longer send out energy of desperation or need to be filled from the outside. You become a powerful source within yourself that attracts better. The more you love yourself, the less you seek validation and approval. So, we need to be ourselves, you need to take care of yourself, because like I said, I, I've been bullied and um, it was hard, because I didn't love myself, so how could I love anybody else, right? So I had to take a good look at myself and to realize that I am worthy, that I'm beautiful, that I have something to offer other people, and uh, look at me now. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to you. I wouldn't do that, say, 10 years ago. I wouldn't even 
have the confidence to do that and yeah so 12 reasons you should love yourself before loving others you are able to set your own boundaries easier that way you know who you are you have an identity you don't need other people to pro provide love because you can provide love for yourself okay you don't need to please others you can just please yourself you do not settle in unfulfilling relationships when you love yourself because you know what you want right you have deeper relationships you know who you your real friends are you start living for a greater purpose number 10 you are happier number 11 you're better able to fulfill your roles number 12 you are loved for who you are right so let me see if we can find a card for today so this is things to think about i think and uh, to take with you because mm, i mean if you're not yourself who are you you can think about that too because if you're not you who are you everyone else is taken isn't it mm -hmm. so let's see we got the cards here and i have no idea if this card will be relevant for us or nothing so i'm going to pick one i'm going to I feel like this one today so this is I can do it cards from Louise Hay hmm I think it's relevant on one side here it says I forgive everyone in my past for all perceived wrongs I release them with love On the other side, it says that today I listen to my feelings and I'm gentle with myself. I know that all of my feelings are my friends. This is relevant. Absolutely relevant. Right. So people, it's really pouring down outside here and uh, I'm not so sure if I can show it to you somehow. Well, you see the outside here. I don't know if you can see the rain, but it truly is raining out there. And yeah. So I've been Anna Greta and uh, I hope you enjoyed what you were here today because I'm trying to help you to be more you and to love yourself and to be healthy and to take care of yourself loving yourself this is i mean this is what i am trying to do here in this in these videos that i'm making for you and um and uh, also i want to tell that i'm just gonna have a sip of water I am now off to a holiday for three weeks up in the mountains and I will try and make a video up there to see if that's going to be functioning and to put it out here on my YouTube um, but if not then remember I will be back after the three weeks but I will do my best to, to, to make a video though and to yeah see if I could show you around maybe somehow making a video to show you around the surroundings because I will be in beautiful nature so um, yeah I'm looking forward to it though so um, just hoping the weather is with us because it's been rain and sunshine and rain and sunshine all the time and we're hoping to be out there walking some few walks and to go some hiking I mean and, and to be in the nature and it's not always nice if it's just rain so we're hoping all right people please love yourself be yourself because 
you are so worth it. You really, really, really are worth it. Take care of you. Take care of your body. Mind what you actually put into your mouth. I mean, eat more fruit and vegetables because really it is good for you and to hydrate your body, get enough sleep and uh, do what you love, love what you do. So, mm. Please subscribe to me because more is to come and uh, I hope that you like what you're seeing and uh, share it because maybe some other people need to hear this. Maybe you know some friends that needs to hear this and uh, yeah, comment, please just put some comment below uh, if you like this and don't like it or whatever it is. So uh, I'll read the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and i'll be back all right see if i may do something from the mountains who knows <clears throat> i hope i can make that so um until then take care and uh, thank you for watching i've been anna greta from oslo norway but maybe suddenly i'm up in the mountains bye bye take care thank you